Well, that was a quick um, delivery. That was lightning fast. Mm -hmm. And of course, at this point, I had gotten 500,000 full. And a very powerful longsword. Jeez, way to do stuff what, off camera. Back. Here it is. Yeah, like I said before, item creation breaks the game. Oh, Always. Here's your payment then. Do 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 Anyway, if you talk to see us about uh, what, what you could do right here, then that triggers the um, the, the side quest. But yeah, treasure hunt. Treasure hunt. Well, I found an abandoned mine earlier in my travels. It's on the Matorx mountain path, but I haven't checked it out much. It's anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah, tell me about it. Well, yeah, you got that right. Jeez. Thanks for everything, see us. You were a big help. See you then. It was kind of fun. I gotta admit. All right. Later. It takes all kinds, I suppose. Take care, Wally. I mean, Zeus. So, it does. Yeah, that's <laughs> like summoners come in all flavors. Yeah, don't worry about it, Bo. I mean, you you you'll be you have Zeus in your party, so you'll be seeing yep. a lot more of him. Absolutely. But no, we'll be recruiting another Highlander. And he, and who actually does show up in the last hope as an enemy. What? Oh wow. Yes, I mean, who wants to see me go back to through Mount Matorx again? And no, you could actually skip this upcoming event, but if you did so, you would miss out on recruiting a party member. But yeah, this this part is skippable. But if you had really? if you had CS with you and you skipped this event by sleeping in the inn about 20 days, you'll is lose affection points with CS. That ain't I didn't know you could we bypass this. Wow. But I, I wouldn't recommend it. I certainly didn't. No, I, I didn't you know bypass what? this. No. What's that? Mm. They're a gang of barbarians. Bill Goddard? What, what do you think? <laughs> Delkin. Oh, wrong, wrong, wrong series. <laughs> so are there any ships going to Astral then? Are you kidding? What are you me? crazy? If we sent out any now, those savages would plunder them within minutes. Cut. Even though you're sailors. You could probably I fight back. We're stuck for now, then. Uh, let's take him out. Well, if we got rid of them for you, would you start sailing again? I mean, I could take him. I could take him all by myself. You wouldn't mind Are you serious, kids? That, would you? Um, well, I, if you think you can, Roderick. Happy to see them gone. You sure you're well, good? considering the longsword I have. Not that the sailor knows this. Sure we are. Just leave it to us. Dogan's gang is rumored to be holed up in a cave south of here. That's just a matter of trying to figure out which boat to take. Oh yeah, I there was that. I forgot for the longest time what boat. And I had no idea, so I was wandering around, go, okay, who am I supposed to talk to? You? Get on this this ship and leave. Come on, people. Come on. I talked to everyone and finally figured out. I'm like, oh god, seriously, like, crashing waves, seagulls, raging storms. The stuff of male fantasies, and I love it. <laughs> really, I really. Uh, Yikes. Well, not there. <laughs> and no, once you complete this quest, you talk to the little boy over there. You'll get a rare accessory. I don't remember if I did that. Yeah, the Saint Elmo's charm, which absorbs water damage. No, I must not have, because that didn't sound familiar. Mm. Let's see, let's see if I can still do that. Anyway, it's time for our pirates. It's time for our first official dungeon. Pirates. Yep. And no, this this dungeon theme actually re reappears in Last Hope as well. Known simply as dim. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is kind of dim here, as opposed to being grim. We slip and slide. They yeah, always good fun as long as they're not spikes waiting for you on the other side. Yeah. And no, there's plenty of uh, treasure to grab here. But once you're done here, you won't be able to come back. Oh, good thing I cleared it out before that, then. Yeah. <laughs> I ended up wandering around for quite a while. No, I, I, think it's, I think it's too late for you to grab the St. Elmo's Charm, because it has to be before you can sail the Astro for the first time. Well, oh well, I suppose there are worse things to lose. 
Uh -huh. At least uh, I know it for next time. Yeah. Anyway. I'm glad you know your way through this place. I was wandering around for a bit. Oh, yeah. I mean, I played this what game quite heck? a few times. Mm -hmm. And, of course, um, wisening up from my previous exploits in um, RPGs, I decided to actually try adding out battles for once. Transition effects. They're very useful. Not, well, not really. It's just about. Well, I know. I'm just being a smart. <laughs> a it's just a matter of cutting out before the battle begins and then going back right back in. It's the simplest highlighting inspection and hitting delete. It's amazing. Oof, damn, that damage! It really was that simple. Overkill much? Yeah, I have what's known as the Sword of Marvels. Oh, yes, the Marvel Sword. Oh, nice. In this game, it has 700 attack power. And since then, I have not had to upgrade my sword. Jeez, I feel sad that I didn't find this guy for a while. I went around a lot longer than, than it took you to get here. Jeez. Uh -huh. so, these guys are... <laughs> I blocked it! Wow! Wow, somebody didn't die one hit from my sword! Or one cut. 1200 did it, though. Jeez. Thunderclap Blade! Eh... That's it's a decent special art, but I never really used it that much. Yep. Wait, where are you? Then, then this is where to figure out. Hey, we can use this flint. Light bulb. Ah! If you use the flint, you have to actually equip it. Yeah, it's one of those annoying things. Like, oh, great, there goes my accessories a lot. Well, it's not as bad as a, a, a certain party member will be grabbing later, uh, in this in this run at least, who actually has a permanent accessory slot assigned to um, a pathetic accessory that only gives five defense and nothing else. Oh, but really? What did you? And sadly enough, it's one of our symbology users. Oh, that's just a rip off. Come on. Well, the thing is, is due to his, well, it, it, it's to balance out his versatility, considering he's our, considering he um, has um, four. Four out of six attack elements, as well as ex access to um, healing symbology. So yeah, you gotta find a way to balance him out somehow. But no, recruiting this character that I'm talking about, as well as um, the other Highlander we'll be recruiting, that is the only way you can actually recruit um, a certain other symbology user. By a uh, more on that later. Once we actually get there. Yeah, but I will say this much. The Symbology user wasn't even playable in, in the original Star Ocean. Oh, so that was the new character you mentioned that was not named Welch. <laughs> yeah. But for reasons which I cannot explain. Anyway. Yeah, more or less... To, yeah, see the gas there? Equip the flint, and then, uh, you can set it off. Yeah, I was trying to figure out where to go, because I want to grab all the treasure before I leave. Right. Even if I already did max out on most items, thanks to my 500,000 full. Yeah. Yep, that's what I remembered. Gotta equip the flint. So I had to give it to Elia. Not like she needs accessories in the first place. Woman make fire! A woman can do it just as well as man. <laughs> but at least compared to the Hoffman ruins in Star Ocean 2, you do not suffer damage. I was expecting that, honestly, just because of the Hoffman ruins. <laughs> uh, that was fun. That's perhaps my most hated dungeon in, in the first half. It's like, not pleasant, that's for sure. Because of those stupid salamanders that would constantly inflict paralysis. Ooh, what a pain! Uh, I agree with Ilya, what a pain dealing with paralysis. Yeah, because saying paralysis is more or less the same as, say, instant death. Yeah, yeah. That, that took some getting used to. I remember getting wiped out by that a couple times. Like, you've got to be kidding me, Trace. Yeah, because saying that if, if, if all party members are paralyzed or stoned, you lose. So, um... Getting some amulets of flexibility and stuff, those are very well needed. Yeah. Blueberries required. 
Resurrection looks required. They're good. Those are good healing items, but nothing beats a Resurrection Mist, which is a full HP recovery and revival. Which I'm getting used to because I was considered used to the Star Ocean 3 version of Mist. <laughs> or the Resurrection Mist, I mean. Which is what? 30% uh, revive everyone. Wow, that's that's guy kind of broken. That's multi targets of single. Enemies. Yeah. They're oh. Surrounded. Yeah. There are four types of ways the battle can begin: a, a standard attack, a, a back attack, surround attack, and an ambush. Where they literally come at you from the ceiling. In other words, there is not one that's advantageous to you. No preemptives for you. Nope. No preemptives. Just take it like a man. Oh yeah, we actually get to meet one of the recruitable party members in this part. Yep, I remember that. Yeah, um, and oddly enough, she actually was voice. She actually voice her VA actually voiced uh, more or less your favorite character from Star Ocean Three. Um, at least one of your favorites. Okay, I was gonna say my favorite was Al Bell, so I'm like, ah, uh, I'm thinking, that can't I, be I was I, I was talking about Maria. Oh yes, Miss Trador, absolutely. Yeah, she is a winner. <laughs> yeah, Dorothy Fawn, who actually is the um, half sister of Melissa Fawn, who uh, voices uh, of who voices Welch in this game. Oh god, that's why I knew that name. Yeah. Oh, wow. You should oh, also know wow. that name because she voiced Rika in Tamers. And oddly enough, I didn't notice until a few days ago, but apparently in the PSP remake of Persona, she voices the more or less the main female protagonist. Well, at least the one opposite, at least the, the, the main female lead next to you. And oddly enough, uh, the protagonist in Persona on the PSP is voiced by Grant George. Good lord, so many connections. Amazing. I know. Especially considering that uh, Grant George voiced the character in Persona 3, and Melissa Fawn voiced the social link character in Persona 4. So many connections. That's amazing. So, so many connections, so little time. This isn't recommended. <laughs> yeah, I made that mistake. <laughs> oops. Oh, oops. Well, I guess that's... this is what we get for being overzealous. Mm, that's slightly sucketh. Just a bit. So we gotta go through here. Uh, 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 uh. God, I remember seeing that actually. Wow. That's poison <laughs> gas. It inflicts damage, but it doesn't poison you. Oh, great. Maybe I did miss something because I swear I don't remember going through it. Also, it looked like that. Speaking, oh, of, man. speaking of status effects, they stack. So you could be paralyzed and stoned. And they're. Oh. And there, and there are some enemies that do use those simultaneously. I it's, believe it's, it. Especially in Star Ocean 2. Yeep. Uh. Uh. You, you, which is why you better have Millie around so that she can cast Condition Cure. Good thing I was set on having a white mage in my party. Jeez. Uh, oddly enough, the other symbology user that I was referring to earlier... The one that wasn't even played Bone Star Ocean 1 is also a healer and attacker. Hmm. Even though her, her versatility is li more limited. Even so, she makes up for that with by hitting very hard. Yes, and Ely got poisoned. Not all that money, you better have something to cure poison, I was gonna say. Look, look at all those items! <laughs> yeah, but of course. Look at all that full. <laughs> The, oddly enough, of course, um, with item creation, you can make a whole lot of money. Oh, yeah. That's one of the ma main things it's good for. Yeah. You may not be able to turn uh, things into gold, but you can certainly turn it into money, that's for sure. <laughs> Speaking of gold. Better than alchemy. Speaking of gold. Speaking of gold. You Holy hell. Yeah. yeah. Get the hell out of here. I'd say that was obvious by the axe hand. Grr! <laughs> Hulk smash. Sorry, <laughs> Hulk break copyrights. <laughs> well, so based on their reactions, they they don't really outlevel us that much, or they start more or less equal in terms of level. <laughs> that was. <laughs> You're pathetic. Next, please. Right. We look... Air slash. My one of my favorite special arts. 
Because I do like me some range attacks. You got it. They've got to let a ship sail to Astral now. In fact, against certain enemies in Star Ocean 2, I'd rather you just use range down. attacks, considering that they more or less tend to eat ya. You think there's anything yeah. back there? Oh, yes, I know exactly what you're talking about, too. Ugh. Trying to run the uh, trying to run an arena like that. Good lord. I've never been able to win the survival battle. <sighs> I, I remember one of my attempts, I got swallowed by one of those things, and I was I pissed, because it did, like, three damage. <laughs> That's all it takes. Oh! Huh? Listen. That music. Well, it's someone playing uh, like a, a flute. flute. But why would there be a flute here? <laughs> it's coming from up ahead. Let's go. This is another hint to another party member. Apparently, <laughs> there, uh, there are two types of fell pools. There's, uh... The pools and there's lesser fell pool like that one. Lesser fell pool are more like the intermediate between cats and uh, and their present day form. Are you all right? And it opens still me again to encounter. Nice. <laughs> You're gonna tie me up again, aren't you? Uh, no. Huh? Eh? Huh? You're gonna wrap that rope all over me again, aren't you? No. Hey, hey, not a first date, lady. What she's the hell? Scared out of her wits. In fact, <laughs> bad joke anyway. In fact, when you recruit her, she is she some instantly smitten with Roddick. Of course. And yes, she's actually the final party member that we recruit that that fills out my party slot. So. Well, for good reason. Let me go. <laughs> what? Is that supposed to be something like a reference to something? <laughs> hey, we just saved your life. Excuse a lot of us. Whoa. Speaking of tripping and dropping things. And <laughs> she runs on all fours, too. Like, uh, well, she is lesser foe pool. Ocarina. That I at least got, so. So, you'll be assured of grabbing th that party member later. Good. It's a shame it's not the Ocarina of Time, but we'll take what we can get. St. Elmo's Charm. Besides, we're already in the past. Yeah. Wait, now that I think about it, uh... Maybe that's how, how we could have got back to the future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! In a hindsight. Uh, hindsight's always twenty twenty. Damn. Mm. Anyway, uh... What else to do now is... Well, let's save the game outside so that we can actually manipulate someone else's talents. Cause, always gonna do that. Because we will be meeting another potential party member that sadly I don't recruit. <laughs> a quick save and load later. Editing. So powerful. Mm -hmm. If only I was more knowledgeable with this in the past. That would have been... I would have received much less criticism from people. Oh, well. That was then. This is now. Yeah. You, you actually got and rather than going to Chrono Cross Philosophy, we'll just continue the game. Yep. Yeah. Well, yeah, we of course we beat the pirates. So you see the blood on my no sword? That's proof that I actually killed them. To repay you. Well, would you mind taking us to the kingdom of Astral then? Oh, no problem. Oh, awesome! Free of charge. You just let me know when you're ready. All two of us. <laughs> yes, to Autanum. Oh, so, okay. So it would be like for me then I recognize this place. I did get here. Oh well. And this is where you last left off? Uh, somewhere no, close to here, at least. Uh, no, I think I, I made one town further, and then that's where I, la where I left off at. Ah! It would be nice if we had something to I go believe. Well, don't look at me. Yeah, no kidding. Let's try paying a visit to the castle after Unfortunately, Cius wasn't too much help here, either. <laughs> you people, travelers. Because the Cius and this woman, they more or less have a thing. Well, there's or something from? like that. I don't see any tail on you. Oh. oh I come from Cross, uh oh and... Uh, I lost my tail. I lost my tail in a childhood accident. Well, good, oh, great good, cover. Good enough for her. See this. <laughs> good enough for her. <laughs> nice recovery. I Damn, I can't believe it works. Yeah, but she does sound a lot like Maria, doesn't she? My name's Elia, and he's Rob. Good to meet you. Mm -hmm. You must pardon me for being rude. Allow me to guide you to Astro City. Yep, you can the definitely tell the same VA. Mm. I'm making easy to tell. <laughs> Absolutely. Sounds great to me. Thank you very that much. That way we get more affection points. All right. 
Fia is um, another one of the three Highlanders we can recruit. Well, and, at least you got to meet somebody I didn't, so... Yeah. yeah. Of course, if you follow my party strategy, uh, they say, yeah, you, you'll be able to recruit her. And she'll be able to gain her own special book of techniques, which help enhance her special arts. Because she'll be, she'll be, and she'll be able to learn advanced versions of her standard killer arts, or special arts rather. I keep thinking of killer moves. Killer moves, yeah. I don't blame you. Actually, I think those do sound a little better. That's my eight amulets of anti venom. You got the money for it. Why not? I'll just buy out the whole store. Nah. I know it wouldn't be necessary. Especially since uh, we will be buying a silver trumpet later. Why would you buy scrap iron? I would really like to know. What would uh, be the point? Uh, uh, I would uh, really love to know why. For, Try Ace. For completion's sake? Yeah, for uh, for one of every item? You know that's... You can actually... easily make it just not even meaning to, so... <laughs> yeah, besides, uh... It's almost next to uh, impossible to get every item in the game? You say no? I mean, seriously? All things considered, I've seen enough scrap iron to last me a lifetime trying to get, uh... I believe it was, uh... uh Prasis is freaking, uh... Prasis or, uh... No, Operas. Trying to get Operas to, uh... The last killer moves. Mm-hmm. Through machinery. God, that was a pain. And yes, I'm recruiting Opera in Claude's story. Considering that it fits... She, her story... Her recruitment fits better with Claude anyway. Then I, I learned to very much enjoy having her in my party. Mm -hmm. Healing Star and Alpha on 1. Mm -hmm. That's my that's my choice of two moves. Ooh, Dots 2 and Sense 2. Oh, we already got Sense 2 earlier. I think we've... I think we have Resilience now. Oh, a single woman in the Astral Knights. And a captain, even. The daughter of Lord Lias. <laughs> so which one... Which set had uh, Perseverance? Which skill set? I can't remember. Um, Perseverance, you mean Resilience. I think that's the sense... Well, the way, whichever one that lowers your uh, your, co your cost for every, all your other abilities. Your, oh, yeah, that's oh, cost. oh, oh that, that would be Sense 2, actually. I think. Okay. Yeah, I know I have that, because I'm working on Forwatch Camera, which set it came with. And now, a bonus scene if you rest here for the first time. Meanwhile, oh, yes, meanwhile, meanwhile, in the town of Ionis. I'm guessing that's a ways from here. Your thoughts. Yep, and now he actually, his portrait's been updated. Oh, I'm sending a prayer to the gods in their holy sanctuary. <laughs> erotics is kind of oh, right. silly. That's how your people refer to outer space, isn't it? Hell, we still do, and we know there are things well, out there, so... I'm sorry <laughs> if this is a touchy subject, but... What if I were to tell you that you were in outer space? Or what you call your holy sanctuary? Would you still believe in your gods? Yes, she would. You see, to people like us, uh, religion or the existence of gods... Typical science fiction. Old relics Although there are still apparently some... Uh, and, uh, one says so three rolls around because the, the, uh, the dictionaries mention that. There's still a few people that believe in religion roaming around. It's not very common, apparently. How do you mean? Oh, of course. There's more to life than just what we can see or hear. Don't you think so? That's true. I suppose so, yes. And of course, everyone has the right to believe what they will, as long as there's nobody else. So. The fact yeah. that Roke exists at all... I mean, it almost seems like some sort of crazy fairy tale. Yeah, you just wait till SO3, then you really be turned on your head. In this world, Ronix, after everything that happened to Dorn and my father, you're telling me it's all just a fantasy? No. <laughs> no, 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 he's, he, you mean it's just like one. He's just saying it's like a fantasy. Uh, no, he didn't mean any harm, jeez. I, I, I didn't mean it like that. I was just trying to say, you know, I just can't it's, it's believe just, It's just I'm amazing to him, that's all. It's just surprising. He didn't think this was ever going to happen. In fact, he didn't believe that he could actually learn how to use magic. Oh, speaking of which. Well, Light bulb. Case, why don't you try learning the art of symbology? Ah, oh, so that's where this comes in. I should have started to figure from there. Jeez. Serious? Wow. Oh, what the hell? My phone's going off. <laughs> We we'll interrupt this let's play to bring you an important phone call. I'm sorry, play a walk through play there, whatever. I mean the whole world is connected. United as well. Well I guess she has a point. You're probably right. Sorry about that, my phone alarm went off. Of course I am. Yes, this is how Ronix learned how to use magic. She's right. And those you learned Ronix, those with pink hair are always right. And this is where he 
pretty much hides his embarrassment because he didn't want people to know how he learned symbology. Because like I said before, he's a military man. I'll admit, I kind of like the sound of the term heraldry a little better, but I won't nitpick too much. Uh, it, it became symbology in Star Wars 3, and I guess that's, it's... Yeah, I know, I just find it funny that <laughs> that'd be the one to start with, and then I'd play 2, and they'd be like, you know, heraldry kind of... But it's a personal thing. Yeah, but no, I, no, I prefer symbology. It, it rolls up, it rolls better right off the tongue. Like I said, it's just a personal thing, so... So yeah, let's buy some updated equipment. Especially since, uh... I t uh especially since, um... From here until uh, I think uh, Eonis, I I I more or less forgot to upgrade most characters' equipment. <laughs> and no, she also has a restriction. Yeah, Fia. Oh, what's that? Her, her accessory. Oh, I see that now. Yeah, that's that's, that's, that's just um, that, that's nothing special. Special ring needed to use the whatever style. Okay. Yeah, no, 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 it's, a, it's a useless item. It's just there to, to restrict her. But even it's, so, it's plot. Yeah, it's plot. The plot, um, focus, I guess. Anyway, uh, see you guys in part six where we actually get to recruit our first party member. Well, about time. Yeah, considering we were without Cius for that whole dungeon. Oh well. This is worth it actually to recruit. Perhaps the best mage in the game. Later, folks! Until then.